I mentioned I wanted to play true or false with a psychiatrist. I have a list of um, very common beliefs mm. about psychiatric residential care. And I was hoping if you could tell me if they're true or not. And if they're not true, what is the truth? Okay. All yes, right? I would also like to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Many people believe that patients will be isolated from their family and tied to beds in uh, psychiatric hospitals. No, not at all. Now we cannot tie anybody to the beds. Not at all, according to the new mental health law. If severity exists, after I have given the medicine, now I cannot give more medicines. That is when I have to restrain the patient and not more than half an hour I can do that. Second question, that I you'll be isolated from families. No, not at all. Maybe initial one or two days because we have to stop that kind of stress response or excessive re response from your brain. Then we have to cut down all the stimulus from the environment maybe one or two days, but not that I'm going to isolate you. Mm. You need that kind of support from the family. So I would, I actually prefer that family should stay with them so that they feel that they belonged. It should not be that, oh, I'm left alone. So no. And if they're absolutely okay, yes, the family can come and stay with them. Yeah. Um, many of uh, the movies about psychiatric hospitals, the minute you enter, it begins with you being injected with something. Is that how it happens at uh, your facility? No, not at all. Yeah. Like I mentioned, we first talk. You need to also understand what the other person is facing. What the other person's pros and cons are. That I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that. First, you have to understand at his level or her level. And then go ahead. It's not that, oh, come, I'm going to inject you. No, not at all. And do, do patients, uh, particularly those who might be cognitively uh, coherent, do they have a right over the medicines that you may or may not give them? Yes, they do have a right. If they have a capacity, mm -hmm. yes. But we also explain them, you know, what is happening, why we have chosen this medicine for them, why is it particularly right for them. If they still say, no, I don't want to, yes, we can go with the trial that you want. Mm -hmm that residential care facilities are only for adults. Do you treat children? Yes, I. under my treatment, I have a 13-year-old right now in the facility. So yes, we do treat Is children also. Is it harder? Also. Little bit, because they have not understood what the world looks like and how the cognition should look like for them. So it is also very difficult for them to explain their things. So yeah. it, yes, a bit, bit difficult, but not I would say as difficult. Can someone um, for behavioral changes like addictions, tobacco addiction, um, alcohol addiction, sex addiction, can someone check in for addiction? Yes. A lot of patients, when they have that will that they want to leave, so we have a rehab specially for them at Chhatapur, that we have special addiction uh, center where we treat them properly so that, you know, how the future life could look better for them. Yeah. Is residential psychiatric treatment the very last resort or should it be the first? It should be the first. It's not the last. It's just the beginning. Is it a quick fix for all your problems? Like you give it money and you're guaranteed to be fine at the end of it. See, money cannot solve everything. It takes time in psychiatry. You have been suffering for years and you want me to fix you in 10 days? No, that is not going to happen. It is going to take time. It's not quick fix, yes. Acutely, I can manage your symptoms very quickly. But see, it's life. I need to teach you and help you out how to go ahead. And that can take time. Yes. So no matter how much money I give, I will have to put in the effort. Without your efforts, it's not going to pay... Any bit. Will residential psychiatric treatment make you dependent on that facility? How do you reintegrate with the world outside? No. So when we are checking in a residential facility or a psychiatric center, we are wanting you to go out in the community and start working. We want you to be independent. We don't want you to be dependent on us. 
वी वॉन्ट यू टू गो एंड कैरी आउट योर लाइफ एज एनी बडी एल्स बिलीव मी एनी मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोफेशनल वुड बी द हैप्पीएस्ट वंस यू कम बैक टू योर जॉब एंड यू सस्टेनिंग योर जॉब वी आर द हैप्पीएस्ट वट हैज मेड यू दैप्पीएस्ट फॉर एनीथिंग यू कैन रिमेंबर दे आर मैनी आई आई कैन नॉट इवन पिन पॉइंट वन बट दे वॉज दिस पर्सन हु वॉज अ कायरो प्रैक्टर एंड he had some life events and he had started smoking cannabis which led him to manic symptoms and now he has come to us he got admitted for a month and can you believe me we've stopped all the medicines for him and he's doing wonderfully well there was one this girl uh, believe me we the whole team did not think she could pass 12 and she's got 86% and now doing beautifully well and we are now gradually reducing her medicines so it's a big big thing imagine where you just have an attack which nobody knows and the family also does not know and they are also panicking around you oh, what has happened what has happened and now you see they are functioning so nicely that it gives you goosebumps when you talk about them so yes so the last one i personally believe it is false but uh, for the sake of fairness i'll ask you and for the sake of the fact that you know more than me um can you get infected by someone else who has a mental illness and somebody actually told me this that if you go to a mental health facility you might it's not infected as in like an infectious disease but if you see a schizophrenic it will trigger your predisposition for schizophrenia in you so you might never be schizophrenic but if you meet one you will become one is that true no not at all i wouldn't say that see there is genetic predispositions but some specific life event has to happen or maybe it can happen de novo but not like oh i'm seeing a psychiatric patient and i should also be a psychiatric patient no not at all we all have very different challenges believe me maybe i look very young <laughs> but everybody has different challenges in their lives so you can't compare i cannot compare my life with you i mm. cannot compare my life with my fellow psychiatrist yeah, yeah. so no mm.